All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. It's a fishing dive show made just for you. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe. I'm here with Steph. You guys seen her on the other videos. Hopefully, we're going to go um, taco diving and uh, what? Fishing too, maybe? Fishing too. So, just luck. We'll just double down. So hopefully, we get something. All right, let's go. Holo, holo. So on this video, I'm going to show you kind of how, how to find taco holes. And then I'm going to do a lot of like still frames of the taco holes some for beginners some are going to be really easy point them out some is for you know your middle guys and then for your experts I'll, I'll, I'll put in a couple harder ones but you know give me a thumbs up if this really helps you out so here we are at the first drop it's a little deeper and then a uh, little murky actually too but look at that do you guys see all those white rocks they're on they're actually not rocks so when i dove down i noticed that it's a quarry shell which is actually one of their favorite foods to eat. So I, look, I looked at the shell and it looked pretty fresh. So I was like, you know what, something broke this, it was big. So we circled around the area for quite some time, but wasn't able to find him. But whoever got that one is, got lucky, because that's a nice one. So we kept searching around this area, but nothing. So we decided to go to a different spot, a little shallower um, and a lot more clean. And right off the back, as soon as Steph jumped out of the boat, she's like, here's one. I'm like, what? Yep, look at that. You see those red and white rocks? The pair? Watch when I dive down. You can see that's the entrance to his hole. And it kind of has a shelf that goes back and deep and in. So she says she saw like a leg too. So it's probably in there. But when I went to check it, mm, I think it was just too small. It kind of went in and stuck itself on the roof. So, you know, I could have got it, but if it's that small, you know, let them go to let them grow. Poo, Roger. Here's another hole. Pretty sure you guys got it, right? So, we'll start off some easy ones. So, what you're looking for is anything that's out of the normal. Any different color rocks, any pushed out sand, maybe just a coloration. Or the taco itself, you might see him just duck down. So I'm sure you guys saw this one. This one's only about 10 feet away from the other one. So it's pretty cool. So it's a pretty good area. And you can see that dark purple. If you see that dark purple, that, a lot of times you, you'll see a dark purple and you press into it. It'll be, um, you'll feel something spongy. In that case, that one had nothing. So we're just going to cruise. And sure enough, Steph is calling me over. She's like, yeah, I found another one. So... She's just on fire on this trip, man. She she found like one, I like to say every 10 minutes or so. <laughs> At least that's the way it felt. Okay, you guys see this little one? So she definitely has the taco eye because check this bug out. Nice one. Hey, empty. <laughs> uh, all right. Good thing Steph found this other hole. Calls me over. Okay, can you guys see it? <laughs> so this one's a little bit different. You might not see a bunch of rocks and all that stuff, but you see how that you have that real powdery white sand where it looks like it's really fresh, fresh where it got dug out. So right now Steph is pointing it out. And you know, so if it, the sand looks that fresh, you know something just dug it out or he's in the hole. And boom! Look at that. Taco Eye. Steph 100, Joe 0. <laughs> Go get him, Steph.
Raja? Yeah, your boy Joe finally found one. Look at that, taco eye. But watch this guy. He is so impressive. I mean, this is why they're one of the smartest animal, animals in the world. Because if you watch real close, so I don't know if this is the first time being caught on camera, but watch this. He's actually making a door. So uh, I removed his his front door, and what he is, what he's doing is actually pushing the rocks from inside this hole out to make a to cover up his hole. So if you're just swimming by, you may not even see this. So that's why it's important to look at all those rocks on the outside that was away from the hole that led me to see this hole. But just watch how he just starts to stack all these boulders all in front of his house just to make it like almost impossible either to see him or to even get him. So super cool. Look at how well he's defending his hole, like with all those doors and all those boulders in a way. Made it almost impossible to even get inside. And he even put a sea cucumber on the outside so that it'll get my spear all gunked up. <laughs> that the sea cucumber spit all over my spear. So, you know what? I decided, ah, you know what? You're so smart. You're so cool. I'm just going to let you go to let you grow. And hopefully, I'll see you about five pounds heavier. Who Raja? Okay, on fire fishing family, you guys got this one? I'm pretty sure you do. You guys have been jamming them this whole time, so. All right, let's see if anybody's home. Oh yeah, there you go, cherry. So Steph absolutely killed it for finding taco, but because all the tacos were right about that pound and a half size, uh, to be legal it has to be one pound, but so they were all legal to take, but we decided to let all of them go. And I'm gonna just go take my gun and maybe try to get at least uh, some fish for dinner, you know? As you can see, there's a big pile of manini, but when there's a big pile of manini or other reef fish, other black fish like that, usually there's bigger game around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, if you can see me going from the left to the right, I'm gonna slide behind that rock and hide. You might be able to see my fins just sticking out. <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is just wait there and then just see if something bigger comes in. And I might even crawl forward just to kind of get a better shot. So out in the distance, I see a bit like a nice collar pile. So I'm over here just crawling, crawling. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's up, sea cucumber? You see the collar pile? No, tell them I'm here, huh? Okay. But actually, I'm just looking down. You don't want to kind of stare at them. They kind of get spooked. So I kind of wait to get closer. And I'm going to just, then I'm going to look up and we'll probably do a lunging shot. Just because they're a little skittish and staying kind of out of range. But I get a nice shot. Here we go. I just start creeping up, creeping up. And here we go. Almost there. Nice far shot, but mm, yeah. In your face. 
I got a nice holding shot. Uh, I knew it wasn't gonna come off, so I, I just kind of just slowly played it, you know, and then bam! Yes, sir. Uh, at least we got Steph got some food for dinner, so super blessed. Thank you again to Venture Wetsuit. They have awesome product and I was able to hook you guys up too. So uh, if you use my code on fire, they'll give you a discount off anything off their site. So go check them out. They have awesome products. Oh yeah, we are on the board. So let's go switch over to fishing. Let's go. Yeah, holo, holo. <laughs> All right, switching over to Cholin. Wish us luck. Finally got to the cans outside by Kanye Oe and then <laughs> here's Steph trying to feed the birds. <laughs> trying to make friends. There's one in huh? Ooh, what you got? Oh! <laughs> he's angry! I hit the line, he's like... <laughs> just throw it up, you'll bite it. Oh. You come close, just throw it up, you'll probably grab it. No, he hit the line, that's why. He's like, oh! Awesome day of fishing and diving with Steph. Um, I gave her all the fish to take home to share with her Ohana uh, so that they can cook it up and enjoy it. But if you want to know how to cook these up, you can check out my friends at Fish and Grills. They make all kind of stuff with these reef fish, so check them out. Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that notification button, also. Help me grow this channel. And uh, as always, make sure you guys take care of yourselves, take care of others. Catch you on the next one. Aloha.